Hello everyone, Roadshow1k here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can bypass the MyCircle network filter. Um, basically, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is one of the methods, which there are several of. I'm just going to be talking about a method called spoofing. Um, basically, if you don't already know, you, you should know if you're watching this video, MyCircle is a internet filtering, Wi-Fi restricting... Uh, platform, I guess it's software, that parents typically use to control what their kids do on the Wi-Fi and see what their search history is and whatnot. So um, I'm going to be showing you a method today on how to bypass um, when they turn the Wi-Fi off, basically. Um, yeah, it's going to be called, it's going to call it, it's, it's called spoofing. And um, it basically what it does is it generates a randomized MAC address and a MAC address, which if I'm correct, is basically how the MyCircle knows what your computer is. Like it, usually when you get a MyCircle, your, your device goes under certain files or like a name of a family member. And... So when, he pause, when your parents pause that name, it's going to check for that IP or MAC address, either one, and it basically restricts their Wi-Fi by cutting it off. And I could be completely wrong on this, but um, yeah, I would take it from someone a little more professional. But um, anyway, I'm just going to be showing you one method that I know on how to bypass it using a spoofer. Okay, so what we're going to do now is open up your browser and search up T Mac Address Changer. Um, typically, it's going to be the first result that shows up, Technidium Mac Address Changer, which is the software that we're going to be using in this video. Uh, you can see I recently visited it because I downloaded it about, a, I would say, two months ago. And so it's in my recently search, but I deleted it for this video so you guys can see the whole process. So once we pull up the Technidium website, what we're going to do is download now. And then we're going to do down, direct download. Um, it's going to give us this file download over here. Once that finishes, it's going to open up this file, the setup file for TMAC. You just want to double click on that. It's going to ask you, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but just say yes. Okay, so you're gonna, just going to have to go through the the setup thing. It's pretty easy. Uh, agree to the terms. Okay. Boom. So that's going to happen. You can um, close out Google Chrome. Yeah. Alright, so finish. Awesome. Okay, so it's kind of hard to demonstrate because I can't shut off my own Wi-Fi. But um, I'm just going to show you how to use this. So you can close that out now. As you can see here, now we have TMAC. I'm going to open that up. It's going to say, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. It's going to open up this boot menu. So there's a lot that's going to go on here. Um, so what you want to do is Ethernet. I'm probably going to have to blur this MAC address because I don't want to give away any information. I'm pretty just gonna blur everything because I'm not high IQ enough to know what not to blur and what to blur. But um, anyways, you're gonna have to wanna select the one that does have a MAC address. And what you're gonna wanna do is click this button right here, random MAC address. Boom, it's gonna come up with some random MAC address. And what you wanna do is change now. So basically what this is gonna do is the my circle is going to see that it's a new device so it's not going to go under any name in the account thing so basically until your parents put it under an account you have unlimited wi-fi the only catch is it's kind of like a, a game of cat and mouse um it's just they're just going to keep moving it under your name of device so it's kind of temporary um i recommend doing this like late at night when your parents are asleep if they shut off your Wi-Fi that way you know they're not gonna shut it down as soon as you start it up so um yeah 
that's how you do it. Um, it's a very short video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, I have a, a f announcement that I'm going to have coming up in the next video, probably. Um, anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.